Folks, we're back on the Maximalist Channel Network. Come see our beautiful, elegant Easter table for 12 right here on my deck on Home and Garden. Folks, thanks for coming by. Now we're going to start out with a 160 inch, 100% cotton tablecloth in the buttercream color in the damask style right here okay and to give it some boost we're going to go with the center lace medallion and boost up our elegance here with this now our stars and influence for the table today because it's Easter, I gotta stay with this white scallop edge charger. It's just superb for Easter. I can't hardly get away from it. Then Heinrich and Company of Bavaria for this glorious set of, I think eight or, yeah, eight. So we're gonna do a mix today as a lot of people might have to on occasion you know we don't always have to but we're going to use four plates believe it or not made in usa i don't know why i can't remember this one <laughs> rosedale she comes out about once a year just glorious look at those colors you can see why i want to use it and it's going to be good with the Heinrich and Company. So we'll stagger, feather in four, four of these. And I'm telling you, it won't take away from our table at all. Let me get those chargers on and tease you before I put the centerpiece on. Then our gorgeous floral pattern plates then our gorgeous by Heinrich and we'll go two florals on the bottom what I'm calling the bottom here one on top like this you can do what you want but all I'm doing is showing you I want them all the same and it's just striking when it comes to your table. Alrighty guys, are we doing any good? <laughs> oh man, I just love these. Oh my goodness. You know, the Bavarian plates steal my heart every time. And I love a lot of porcelain something about them now i'll quit teasing because i pre-made the arrangement for the centerpiece for this table today now royal munich i love 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 this set in the cream and sugar in the fruit and of course look at the colors that's why I want to use it today. We'll get in on most of what I'm going to use. Now, also, we're having drinks with uh, dinner, but we're going to have some tea as well. So now we're down here with a long table like this, we're going to have two cream and sugar setups and how staggering for our mixed table to pull out the Royal Albert in the sweet violets trying to get get it close kids don't care about tea but some of the adults do. 
So that's where we're going with some of them. I probably don't have to tell you. <laughs> Try to come up with a whole table of these in the sweet violets. Oh my goodness. They are pricey and they hold their price. Okay, so we're getting so sophisticated now with a, a tray to carry our 100% crystal stemware. And this is for the wine tonight. And this glass, the shape and size is referred to as a claret. Just in case somebody would like to know. If you'd like to learn a little bit. If you hear the term, then now you'll know, right? <laughs> so tonight, we're having a pork tenderloin roast. And we're going to kick it up a little bit with the cordial. That cordial will probably be a blackberry brandy. So we're just off a high noon with our wine claret and then our cordial glass in crystal as well. Okay, so we're coming up with our Depression glass, butter dishes, one at each end. And technically what I'm using is the original butter dish cover in the Madrid pattern, but with the cherry blossoms on the dish. Okay, and each opposite corner will get one of those, just like we have here. Pork tenderloin, just melt in your mouth. Now before I fill the table up with ancillary things, there is a couple surprises, but I'm gonna have to get the flatware set. And before I do that, I need the water glasses. I'm trying to decide if I want a, a stemmed water glass. I think so. They're just pretty. Okay, so that's going to go right at high noon on your place setting. Get that at high noon when it's possible. Like we start running into, you know, it gets a little tight here. Normally the teacup is first, but in this case, we've got to cheat just a little bit. Not bad. Now working from the drawer, I like to get the closest things first. And we'll need a cheese knife. We'll need a dinner spoon and a dinner knife. Two fingers off the edge. I like to line up the handles at the bottom. We'll do that again. And the edge of the knife faces the plate. Just for you new folks, and it just makes for a striking table. Now we'll want an olive dish. And we'll want to get all our 100% cotton napkins with a crystal napkin ring. And we'll get them in on the left of our setup. That's going to be tight. I think I'm going to 
we'll go on the plate without covering everything. All righty now, folks. Now we got to get the rest of our table set up and ready to rock and roll. Now that the flatware's on, we can see where we're at and how much room we have left. Because we're having pork, we're having a white wine. And I'm not sure how to beat it, but we're having our favorite Riesling by Biltmore Estate. They do not sponsor us, but they should. <laughs> So we love Biltmore and we love their wines. Incredible lineup of wines. Now, if you wanted to have fun, look at our biscuit jar today. You remember when I got it for Angela. Fabulous. Can you tell what the holiday is now? Look at how she fits in. And we're going to have a nice dish for cornbread there. Then a wonderful terrain of vegetables here. I think we may need another one. Even though the meat is going to be served banquet style, you know, serve your serve yourself. And the wines are on the table to show the guests what we're having when they come in and mill around and talk. And then they go in a bucket of ice. Okay? That's how we handle that. Alrighty now, you new folks, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. You won't miss a video. And you can be right here with our wonderful YouTube family. Hey, check out that store too, guys. You know, we got that new spring and summer line. I bet we're going to get ours before you do. We got to have them. They're too good. Check it out. And thanks for coming by. Did somebody say candlelight or tea lights? I got some crystal votives I'm going to add right now. I think I'm going to dim the chandeliers just a touch before I take you and show you all around. Look at these. Just what this does. We'll get in three of them on this table anyway. 